Mark 16 Spitfire RW388 was built by Vickers Armstrong in Castle Bromwich in July 1945 and saw service in several RAF operational squadrons and maintenance units. 85% of its airframe is original to 1945. It was donated to the city to commemorate the birthplace of its chief designer, Reginald Joseph Mitchell, born in Torque in 1895. After attending Queensbury Road High School, then Hanley High School, his skills in mathematics and technical drawing enabled him to gain an apprenticeship at Kerr-Stewart Locomotive Works at Fenton in 1911, giving him a sound grasp of engineering principles. During the First War, Mitchell successfully obtained a position in 1917 as personal assistant to Hubert Scott Payne, director of Supermarine Aviation, which was building seaplanes in Southampton. Reginald Mitchell's career during the 1920s and 30s as Supermarine's chief designer and engineer is well known, from production of the Southampton Flying Boat, the Walrus Amphibian, the Schneider Trophy winning seaplanes and the world famous Spitfire which first flew in 1936. His designs broke the world airspeed record on no fewer than five occasions. He sadly died of cancer in 1937. After 17 years under a glass canopy in Bethesda Street, our Spitfire was lowered by crane into the gallery within the museum in 1986. Nearly 80 years since the Spitfire's maiden flight, its reputation, image and attraction to the public hasn't diminished. But the ravages of time have contributed to the current poor state of the airplane. We have an innovative plan to work with our community, to inspire current and future generations to strive for better. If you are really interested in this piece of iconic genius engineering, piece of engineering... Reginald Mitchell is still an inspiration to the young people of today. We've got three main objectives. Firstly, the restoration of this fantastic aircraft, RW388, here in the Potteries Museum. Secondly, we want to celebrate the celebration of our wonderful engineering past in the city of Stoke-on-Trent and around. And thirdly, we want inspiration. We want to inspire current and future generations to follow in our forefathers' footsteps. Fascinating thing, there's a Spitfire in the Hanley Museum which is in a bit of a state. The Mark 16 Spitfire that's in the museum was gifted to the city in 1969. She's an old lady now and is desperately in need of a little bit of help to try and bring her back to her former glory. We want to use the restoration of RW388, our Mark 16 Spitfire, as a form of flagship to try and promote engineering, promote the fantastic legacy that Reginald Mitchell left us in this area. The City Council and the Museum Service are very proud to be working with Operation Spitfire on fundraising so that we can ultimately restore this fabulous aircraft. We are extremely lucky to have Peter Coates who has donated some £20,000 uh, towards creating a simulated cockpit, unique uh, and the very first of its kind in the world, which will become the flagship of the restoration and will uh, profile the Spitfire in its projection of young engineers for the future. People can come, they can sit in, they can get a flavour, get a feel for what it was like to fly a Spitfire. It's a project that can build year on year and it will enable young people to turn what will initially be a fairly static display into something that can be truly interactive. Right, what we've got here is a, this is a spade grip, this is the, this is the, 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 the bit the pilot holds onto when, he's, when he's, he's flying around in his Spitfire. I also came up with an information display that's touch screen that would give people information on the Spitfire and one by a picture of Reginald Mitchell who was the, the designer of the Spitfire of course. I have built a um, new hull layout. The Spitfire is the centre of attention so it catches your eye as soon as you walk in. As you look around you'll see pictures of Spitfire battle scenes all around the walls and layouts. In the ceiling you, as you look up you'll see models of Spitfires, Messerschmitts having a reenactment of a battle and um, I've got all the traditional guns and engine 
and now the brand new um, simulator that will be placed. It's very exciting as an engineering college um, to have produced something for the real world for a gallery that other people will see and to have some acknowledgement for that and hopefully in the future our students will take their families to that same gallery and say I was part of that. It'll just be the beginnings of what will become a really impressive gallery that will be dedicated to the Spitfire, to Reginald Mitchell and to engineering excellence in this area. I'm so proud to have known my Uncle Reg and Operation Spitfire I think is a wonderful thing to be linking uh, modern technology to this wonderful icon. The City Council and the Museum Service are very proud to be working with Operation Spitfire on fundraising so that we can ultimately restore this fabulous aircraft. In conclusion, what we're asking for is industry and educational establishments to get behind our program, to participate in this fantastic idea. The cockpit itself is an opportunity for students to get involved, to get hands-on with a real Spitfire, which is unique. We're also asking for industry and the public in general to donate to this very worthwhile cause, which is part of Stoke-on-Trent.